your back Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my room I hate how you assume another episode of Zola Tank Boys. All right, guys, so in this episode, we're going to visit one of our buddies over at the Mad Reefer to pick up some fire, fire coral. It's kind of like a bit of a road trip because it's about an hour away. So we got our softy, fizzy drinks, and we're ready to go. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, guys, so we're about to go to Mad Reefer's. Look at this band. Hector, where do you got your pinky up? You gotta promise that you're gonna drive back. I hate driving. I've been a daisy driver since day one, guys. He has to drive back. All right, bro, let's... We don't need to be doing pinkies. Pinky! That's... That's so... <laughs> that is not normal, bro. You're driving back. That's all that matters. I don't know. The world's seen it! He's driving back! All right. Let's put pedal to the metal. All right, bro, what are you looking for? What do you want to get? Don't you want to get like an OG or something? We'll see what they have. I haven't been there in a while. But I know Manny wants to get a lionfish, so... Don't see. you want to get a holy grail? Don't you want to get a... Eel? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we're on the road. We got 56 minutes. The weather is looking... Um, like it's gonna probably rain. So... Hopefully there's a lot of good coral because Hector has a big budget and is ready to ball out. Coral hall. <laughs> coral hall. Coral hall. All right, let's hope they have some fire. Hi, right, bro. We made it after 20 million years. Hey, look, at least it's sunny, no rain. You got your sunglasses on? Yeah. All right. People are gonna think all we do is go to stores and buy coral. That's really all we do. <laughs> oh, let's see, can you see how they're open? Yeah, guys, that's all we do is buy coral, so. Let's check it out. I feel like we just did this. guys so we just left the mad reefer we're headed home manny's got some fire i also got some fire and we're gonna get these things acclimated and get things rolling yeah guys i got some nice nice stuff we didn't get a lot of footage in there uh, just because we were so caught up in, in, in looking at some craziness um yeah but we got some really nice stuff for the lagoon so that's gonna be exciting here we go. This is what happened when you let Manny drive. Wrong turns every time. The, the, listen, it wasn't every a wrong turn, it was a missed turn. That's different. Always a missed turn. Correct. We'll miss them. We're making wrong ones though. Back to the drive. Alright guys, so we just got home from the LFS. I'm going to do a little bit of work on this tank because I do have some frags that were moved, X, Y, and Z. And then we're going to put the corals that we just bought. I'm supposed to put them in here. I want to put them in here. I don't know. I might put them on the display because they're so freaking nice. Let's see how everything plays out. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Where should I put them? I mean, the idea should be in here, right? I mean, there's a brand new tank, but that other tank, guys, is just... It's about to explode. 
So I don't know. I don't know. Let's start messing with this, and then we'll see what corals end up. What do you think? Sounds good. All right. All right, guys. So it's been a couple days since we came back from the shop, and I want to show you the corals that I got. You can already see this thing glowing. Guys, check this A can out. It has three heads. There's a head in the back, and of course, I glued it on backwards, but it's there. Guys, but look at the colors on that. Yellow center, insane colors. And as you guys can tell, I love A cans. So I'm super excited to have this one in my collection. Hopefully, it grows very well. I also picked up this Zolianthid right here. These colors are insane. I honestly haven't seen a Zoa that reminds me of this too much. The Motley Crews somewhat look like that, but these are different. When I saw them, I knew I had to have them, guys. But these are looking pretty good. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Hector also picked up some coral, so um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have the footage um, immediately for this video, but we got a pretty gnarly shroom. But guys, Tank's doing super, super good. SPS is back there mounted. Got another little section over there. I'm definitely gonna do a detailed reef update because there's been so much growth, guys, in this aquarium. But these guys are the main focus right now. I'm pretty impressed with the coloration and how, guys, and the price on these were phenomenal. So leave a comment below. I'm curious to see if you guys are as blown away with these as I am. I'm actually on my way to my LFS. Um, I need some cleaner crew for the 170. It's pouring rain here in Orlando. So I wanna get some cleaner crew, maybe some snails. Um, I haven't had emerald crabs in a long time because, sorry for the shakiness because I am driving. Um, emerald crabs have eaten coral fine in the past, so I try to stay away from that. Um, but maybe some snails. I am going to put a fighting conch and get everything nice and clean. So, And I'm still looking for a fish for the lagoon. So let's see what I can find. Again, guys, it's like I'm in a safari. It's raining and shaky. So, buckle up. So I just made it. Rain is slowing down. You can kind of hear the thunder. Um, so I'm going to try to get in there real quick. I got my two buckets so we can get some RO, set up that ATO, and hopefully they have some cleaner crew and maybe even a fish. So they have a whole bunch of coral. So I didn't come in here with a bunch of buying coral, but I might pick something up. Um, yeah, I haven't even looked into a fish yet. <laughs> but that's a good thing. Really cool, cool selection. So, yeah, and like I said, I've been getting into SPS, so maybe I'll pick something up. Here we have the goods. So let me grab. We got comes a her, got some hermits. Got five hermits. And some trochia snails. So I'm actually gonna float these guys for a little bit. So that way I can put the mushroom in the display tank. So I'm gonna float them into the sump. Right here, drop them in there. They should be good. I'll wait about 30 minutes. So, this cleaner crew has been floating honestly for about two, three hours. So, shake them off. I don't want to introduce any of the water into my tank. So, I'm going to use scissors, cut it open, put them in here, and then I'm going to put them in the tank. All right, guys. So, something that I like to do is I like to actually put my cleanup crew on the rock instead of just throwing them on the sand bed because it, it, it gets them to work, you know? Sometimes you just throw your cleanup crew on the sand. There's another one right there. 
hermit. Sometimes you just throw them on the sand, and it takes them a while to find out where they're going. You know, so I literally just put them where I want them, and um, yeah, they just start going to town. So the last thing I'll get, and this might be a week from now, is a um, an urchin. Because urchins go to town on the back wall. And this tank has been doing a good job. But, you know, it's just one tank. So. Alright, Reefer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zoa Tank Boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, buy a shirt. Till next time, Zoa Tank Boys out.